Hello and welcome to Learn C Sharp, Volume 4. In this edition, we're going to learn comparison expressions. Uh, since I cannot get ifs and if else with this, that'll be in my next edition. So, what is a comparison expression? Well, a comparison expression is something that compares two things together and in C sharp returns a boolean value that's true or false. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you the second one in the list. Double equal signs. That is, does what is on the left equal what is on the right? Say I have a variable and what's inside that variable is the number one. And I want to compare it against the number one. Well that would come back true. But let's say I still have that exact same variable but I compare it against 5, the number 5. Well since the variable equals 1, they clearly don't equal each other. So it would not work. So it would come back false. Sorry about that. Uh, now the one up here on the top is the single equal sign. This is a common beginner's mistake. A single equal sign is used for assigning a number or another value to your variables. In C sharp, this will actually return an error, which is a good thing. Because I can remember debugging some of my old C code, taking forever wondering why something always came back as true because it didn't come back with an error while I was compiling it. Um, okay, let's go back down the list. The very next expression we're going to learn is does not equal, which is an explanation mark and an equal sign. Again, we're going to take our variable, say it equals 1, and we're going to compare it against 1 again. Well, this time it'll come back as false. Why? Because 1 does not, I mean, sorry, 1 equals 1, and that's not what we're asking the compiler for. We're asking if it does not equal 1. And if, again, if I compared it against 5, it would come back as true this time. The next one is uh, the less than. So you're asking if the what is on the left, our variable, let's say, it equals 1. If it, We're asking if it's less than 5. It'll come back as true. You have 1, is it less than 1? It'll come back as false. The next one is less than or equal to. So if we take our variable, which is equal to 1, and we compare it against the number 1, this time it'll come back as true because they equal. And again, if we compare it against the number 5, it'll also come back as true because it is less than 5. Next one is greater than. Let's check our variable. Now let's compare it against 5. Since 1 is less than 5, that'll come back as false. And if you compare it against the number 1 also, it'll come back as false because it equals it is not greater than. And the next one is greater than or equal to. Again, it'll, if you compare it against 5, since our variable is equal to 1, it'll come back as false. But if you compare it against the number 1, it'll come back as true. Before I go on to the next one, this is another common beginner's mistake, is to flip the two symbols. When you're comparing against greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, you have to have the less than or greater than sign come before the equal sign. And the next statement is the false statement you put that at the beginning before you even start your comparison let's say we're comparing with the equal sign 
one equals does one equal one it'll come back as true but if you have this sign before you even compare it it'll come back as false and if you go one equals five it'll come back as false and that will convert it to true typically I only use that one if I'm comparing against a boolean value directly first thing is uh, we declare a, a variable named sumVar and all you have to assign it to a boolean val, uh, variable so bool keyword has to be used now this is not needed but I do it anyway I usually encase my uh, expressions in parentheses just to make it easier to read 1 equals 2 that variable we know will be false um, 1 does not equal 2 so we know this variable here will be true and this is that not symbol I showed you I told you about put it before you start testing and this instantly becomes true uh, some variable this is exact this is how I usually do it right here one equals and then some variable now this is a weird one I didn't show you about but I'll show you in the next edition but this the double straight line if you look on your keyboard if you have a standard English QWERTY keyboard if you find the backslash and you push shift and the backslash it'll make that straight up and down line if you put two of them it's the OR symbol so some other variable is greater than 10 or 1 equals 2 and it gets reversed so that will always actually be true because just solely based on that oh there's another one this is the AND symbol if you're doing two comparison statements that means that like if this was the AND symbol instead of the OR symbol you would be asking does this and this equal true since this is showing it's asking if this or this equals true and this is typically how you see the not symbol used inside the parentheses and again I just put this here because this is a common mistake having just one equal sign this will not work but I just put it here to show you since I do not have a code any code to upload to the SourceForge project site this will be uploaded to the blog and you can download the images instead of just source code